Let's learn how to use our TI-30X2S uh, to calculate some statistics. So if you still have uh, the card insert that's in your calculator, this will uh, have a nice little reminder of how to do it. Um, uh, but I'm going to walk you through how to do this as well. So uh, first things first is we have to get it into stat mode. So we press second and then data or stat. And we want to do one variable statistics. We push enter. And we'll, it looks like we've done nothing, but we've actually entered um, or in the stat mode, so you can see that there. So we can enter some data. Uh, so we'll press data, and it's going to have x1. So that's our first value that we're going to put in. So look, we're just going to look at a few values. So let's put in 4.32. I push the down arrow. You could also push enter. Uh, that, then um, you'll get to FRQ. That's frequency. So if you had a data set, where this a value showed up multiple times, you wouldn't have to input it each time. You could set up the number of times that it appears in the data set. Press uh, down again or enter, uh, and you can put in your second value. Okay, down, down, uh, and then put in a third value. Value. Okay, and then press down or enter. So now I have three values entered. So I'm going to uh, press stat ver, and it's going to show me this screen. Uh, right now, the n is underlined. That's the number of points, or number of data points in our uh, list that we're going to find the average and standard deviation for. If I press the over button, um, this is going to show me x bar, or the average. If I press the over button one more time, uh, this is the standard deviation. Uh, and this is the one you want. There's S sub X and Sigma sub X. Sigma sub X assumes that the population uh, is nearly, is infinite. Okay, it's a very large population. We know that we only have a few values. We want to be looking at S sub X. You can also use these values in calculations. So if you wanted to grab that average, you could press enter. And now we can multiply the average by two, for instance, uh, and, and do that. Now, um, if you want to go and change the data, you could go back and edit each little thing. If you want to completely wipe out the data set, you do second exit stat and then press enter. And that clears everything out. 